one of my questions for yeah. you, the word give. Yeah. I don't think people really understand like what that means. You'll you'll see people, you know, well, the give of a machine, you know, it's got so good give. Is, so just tell our viewers, people watching today, what what, it really what is. Yeah, what does that mean when you're when you're talking about the okay. give of a machine? What does that mean, Chris? Okay, so what it really is, uh, truth be told, the in tattooing, the best tattoo artists in the world. Mm-hmm are the most consistent tattoo artists in the world. Right? Okay. Uh, remember in art class when the teacher used to have you like draw like this with your elbow out? Yeah. And very like, and it's awkward. Yeah. And it's painful. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't want to do that because I can get the same results doing this. Right? Yeah. And I, I would ask like, why do you want me to do this? And they couldn't tell me an answer. They couldn't give me a good answer anyway. It was usually because I said so. Right. right? Yeah. So I would just go back to doing the way I did it. Well, if you practice that technique and stay with it, it locks your body in a position where you become a machine. Okay. Right? Yeah. Like you become very consistent with your stroke. Mm -hmm. In black and gray tattooing, uh, consistency is key. Yes. Uh, you can, if you take a piece of paper and a pencil and you draw a really fine line horizontally across it just real light mm -hmm. and then vertically over that scratch as hard as you can yeah you'll still see that fine line going across right it's because it's different it stands out mm -hmm. right? so that's where consistency becomes key uh, a lot of these guys that are doing uh, portrait tattoos that you can age with the face app yeah if you watch their hand and their technique it never changes right so give was something that was created for people that may have a heavier hand. Okay. Right? Yep. So, because we're used to coil machines, right? Right. So as they're coming in, they're not getting the results that they used to get with these coil machines. So uh, you have a bunch of builders who suddenly have all these problems they didn't have before. Okay. And, and I'm not ragging on any builder because this yeah. is at a time when they're new to rotaries too. Right. Now this is their first rotary machine. Yeah. They got all these guys come to him going this thing well and the work changed yeah, right? the work everything. is the work that tattooers and PMURs are doing has evolved so the right. demand is different from our machines right. correct right. of course yeah so give became uh, a thing that builders put into machines so somebody with like a heavy hand yep it would soften up the needle pins so they weren't tattooing both sides of your arm at the same time okay right? yeah so uh, it it's a, a thing that aims to make you more consistent. Okay. Right? To get everybody on an even keel. Yep. Right? So uh, the give, basically, when you come in, if you have a lot of give on a machine, the needle pins will soften when they hit the skin. Okay. Right? And it'll let you blend out real easy. Okay. Right? Uh, if you have no give, you'd have like a direct drive. Yep. That's just a, a rigid bar. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. So that guy with a really heavy hand, yeah. he's got a direct drive. Buddy, yeah. You're right. in for a treat. Right. So you would Bob say Tyrell. you're... Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. But so your rook has good give. It, it has a give. Well, it's very unique. It has give around that range where a PMU artist is going to be working. Okay. Right? Or yep. where a black and gray artist is going to gotcha. be working. Uh, and then if you increase the voltage... So it, it's then it becomes more of a it direct becomes drive. More stiff, gotcha. Right. Gotcha. And yeah. that's where guys in tattooing that aren't doing black and gray or, or color realism, that's where they're gonna live. Yeah. So it works out. And it's something that some people might not even realize, but right. you just control it with the the voltage. Yeah. I don't like giving people a ton of options. Right. Because if you give people a lot of options, they want all the options. Yeah. They don't know why they want them or well, what they're for. And sometimes they don't understand all the options yeah. or they're setting the wrong options. And then you start picking up bad habits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and I got gotcha. you. Then those, you could be doing everything right. Yeah. Absolutely everything. Your, your technique could be flawless, but because you have this machine, one click off, then you start picking up bad habits and quirks to make up for the machine. Right. Right? Yeah. Uh, a machine should be an extension of you. Yeah. Right. It should feel comfortable. And at the end of the day, I tell everybody, like, as long as it moves in a linear fashion, yeah. without any side-to-side -side deflection, right. it feels good in your hand, and this is the most important thing. If it gives you the confidence mm -hmm. that you need 
to do the job you've been asked to do right. to the best of your ability, which is alter the appearance of somebody for the rest of their life. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter if it's an F.K. Irons, a Rook, a Bishop, uh, an Axis. Yeah, yeah. What you have in your hand, it's letting you do that. Yeah. It's the best machine in the world for you. Yeah, no, I agree 100%. Well said. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we all seem to, everybody seems to forget that the client the client's really the important one. A stranger yeah. has walked in and trusted you to stab him yeah. with needles. Yeah. When you say it like that, it's yeah. messed up no, what you do, right? No, it's true. I was doing an eyeliner yesterday. I really was. And I was right. using your rook. And, you know, she was like, she was kept blinking on me. I was like, okay, you're relaxed. And she's like, this really hurts. I didn't know it was going to hurt like this. And I'm, uh-huh. <laughs> I know. Uh-huh. But I'm like, Chris, what'd you think? I'm tattooing your eyelid. What'd you think? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think sometimes the clients realize, no, you know, no. that, yeah, I mean, you know, what we're doing hurts or yeah, it's, it's at know. least, you know, we use good anesthetics. So it's least, at least and it's, it's uncomfortable. Still like, I mean, I, it's intense. Yeah. It's doing well, eyeliner. Well. Yeah. And, yeah. And if it's not even the pain level that gets a client, it's that, that, that needle's yeah, you're right, right there. You're right yeah. there and you can see it. You get glimpses of it. You yeah. know, the client does. So it's, it's a lot of times when we're doing eyeliners, it's the anxiety factor right. not so, even the pain factor that freaks yeah, so out the client I say whatever machine you can put in your hand yeah that's going to help you work through that anxiety yeah. and make it yeah. make you okay for your client yeah both in the job that you, you're doing and just in that anxiety yeah you get you know, yeah. anxious they are too yeah. right <laughs>